Today, I'm going to be showing you very quickly how to create these toggle buttons while working in Figma on any project. So what I'm talking about is basically selecting a button and you're able to turn on and off that button without having to do it afresh or create it in a different manner. All right, you can just use the advanced component feature to do this. So we're going to do this in six minutes max. So let's let's go. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is bring out all instances of this particular um, toggle. So I'll just move it a bit away from the screen. And with it here, um, all I need to do is duplicate it and then get the other off instance. All right, so we have these two guys. I'm going to remove um, what I've done, components. All right, so I'm going to detach um, the instance. So right click on it and detach. So this is where you would begin your work. All right, so the next thing you need to do is just select both of them and go up here and turn that into a component set. All right, you can turn one into a component and then create a variant, but this is much easier for this illustration. So we have these two items and they bear the same name default at the moment. So all you want to do, you can see we don't have any toggle here. And all you would want to do is simply select this, all right, come to this layer section and just type whatever it is, iOS or Android. Or whatever toggle it's for um, so for this for this case I would put iOS equals now the equals sign the equal to sign all right so equals this is off so you're going to type force and press enter you just copy it actually copy it and press enter and then go to the next one and just double click paste it in there and change the force to true so you can type it afresh if you want to, but for more ease, you just copy and paste and change that to true, and true means on. So press enter, and we're done. We're done. All you need to do next is select one of it, hold alt, and drag it out, or go to assets, and you will find it here, and you can drag it out from assets. It's the same thing. And if you look at it, we have, let me get rid of this one. We have it here, and if you see, we can turn on and off that toggle, all right? And this would save you a lot of time while you work. You can use this for different purposes, different other purposes. I can have this and this and just give this another color, select both of them, go up here, to create components, select this, go back to layer, type arrow equals force, all right, but just ensure you give them the same name. All right, so arrow equals false, and uh, this would be arrow equals true, and that's it. All right, select any one, bring it out, and there's something we didn't do. Yeah, so there's something we didn't do here. That's equals. And that's it select it and you have it there so on and off i'll see you guys very soon uh until then take care of yourself bye for now